I help daddy feed the rabbit. Yeah, yeah, help daddy feed the rabbit. Hey, what are you doing? He needs some. Joe, you gonna get him some water while I feed him? Or you want me to do that too? It's up to you. So guys, welcome back. This is Farmer Vaughn. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys know I feed the, that one every day until I can get him a feeder like that. Uh, this one, if you fill it up, see they already had some. I just try to keep it topped off every other day or so. And they have plenty of water. I say that, but it's froze. Just give it a little shaky shake. Okay, so they have water. These guys do. We're gonna put some water in this guy's uh, water jug. Say hi to the Joby. I don't know where Bobo's at, but Joby is my little helper today. At least till I go. There's Bobo. Joby, stay over here with Daddy. Come here. Come here. So we're back. So. Whenever I wrap my uh, cages up for the year, we'll uh, do a video on that. But it, I don't wrap them to where they're airtight and solid. The rabbits don't have no sunlight. They'll still get sunlight, you know. They'll still get all sorts of nutrients that they need from the sun. They'll just be a little warmer, so. The only thing I'm going to do is I will put probably a sheet of metal right there and a sheet of metal right there. They'll still be able to breathe through here, breathe through here. Uh, it just make them warmer on the sides. And I may put him a box in there because it is cold and it's kind of poo-poo to leave him sitting out like that. So we're going to but it's fall time actually it's winter time jeez it's Joey Joey I know it's 30 something degrees right now 40 40 something degrees my bad I'm out here walking around their feet anyways we've got a lot to do on the farm tonight or today uh, well we are back at it again today we are down here and today we're gonna check the water in the water trough. And I'm not in the field. <laughs> she tries to, she, which you really want to try to stay in the field whenever you come over here. Because she tries to keep a really nice house, which she does. She, she keeps a very nice house, very nice yard. Oh, the cows are up and drinking. All righty. Good, good. Good, good, good. We're gonna check this automatic waterer first and the bull lot first. Because it's gonna get cold tonight. I really wanna have some water in the water waterers. So uh give me just a second, we'll get at it. Trough we always check is this one just because this is the automatic water. And yeah, we're gonna put some water in here. So whenever this gets to a certain level, it'll come, it'll stop. Then the boil lot water tank. But we'll go ahead and put some in it too.
just because I like to make sure everything's got plenty of water. Can't live without water. So we got that one filling up. We got that one filling up. We're doing good. So these guys were actually out. We're definitely going to fill this one up. And I'm not really worried about the automatic water, which is way down there, the first one we cut on. But I do want to make sure we get this one filled up and the bull lot. Since that one's taking a little longer, the cow's are drinking out of it, so on and so forth. It'll take it just a little longer. Don't hit your head on that. That wire right there is the hot wire for the fence. So, try to dodge that when we can. And it's supposed to freeze tonight, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook all the water hoses, lay them out on the ground in a downhill fashion. That way they drain. And that'll, well, I, actually, this one I could probably just, well, yeah, I'm going to lay this one down. That one right there, it don't really have much to drain per se. We just unhook this and I leave it dangled over the fence. It'll drain off that way and off that way. This one's almost full. Cut this one off. He'll be good for tomorrow. He'll be good. All the way up till tomorrow. There's the bull. He's just peeking around the corner. He just wants to say hi, guys. Hi. Anyway. All I do, see how this is touching the water? We take this out. I lay it down on the ground like, like so and it'll drain all the water in that line it'll drain both ways see so it'll come down down and be drained out by tomorrow we're just gonna make sure she will drain and then this one up here. Hi, mamas. How are you? All right, this will take a while. But at least we know they'll have a. And the reason they're drinking out of the trough right now is because it's so cold. They don't normally, when it gets cold, they don't normally go to the bottom. These cows don't. They stay up top, so. Some of them do though, some of them go to the bottom, but they're all over there at the tree line. But we'll, we'll, we'll go find them here in just a minute. Some may wonder why I keep the truck running. Uh, it's just of course a habit, especially in the winter time. It really gets cold. I don't really like to shut it off much. If I'm out driving it just because it gets cold and it's not really too fun to sit there and sit in a leather seat while it's warming up. That gets cold real quick. So matter of fact. Cold, cold, cold. Okay. Looks like the automatic water is going to beat this one. There he is. Look, he's trying to sneak up on us, guys. <laughs> Sticking to the shadow. Anyways. 
yeah they're they're just up here because it's a lot warmer on top which you go down in that i don't know what it is but when you go down in that holler right there it's cold it's cold so they, they try to stay up towards the top whatever We'll check back whenever the waters are done. We're back. Back, back, back in black. So, automatic water is done. Full. We're going to shut it off. And hook the hose. Get the water drain out. That's a big thing. Definitely don't want the water to stay in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook it from both sides so that it don't freeze. Because whenever these cows drink this, that water in that this little right here, I guess you'd call it a nipple. It'll come down. It'll go away. Go out there. In the into the crop, so it's good. There's our bulls still sticking to the shadows, and cows are just grazing. It's about time for hay to start being put out. If you can't tell, I mean, they're it's getting pretty close. Well, I'll let the water trough run over a little bit. That's okay, though. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing we did in the middle. We're going to unhook it. y'all seen that but yeah and then it's this one that likes to get water so I just blow into the pipe to get the water to come out water's out and I'm gonna leave it hanging like that Till tomorrow that way now all the water is out of the pipes these are freeze or is it frost proof freeze proof spigots which means the water will go the water will stay there it'll go back down and you go back under the ground all the way to the well house and it'll start draining back off into the well uh, just to keep everything from freezing. So, everything is watered. Now we're going to go check the cows. So, we're unhooking the... What we can tell is there's cows up here in the front. So, what we always do, there's cows up here in the front. I'll pull through the gate and then I'll close it behind me. Not exactly lock it, but close it and dummy lock it. So. Close the door. I'm going through and getting right back out. 
That's all I do. Just put the chain over. Here we go. I'm gonna check some moves. I'm gonna start up here. Check see if this cow is ours. It does not look like it's ours. The neighbor has brackets too, so I always watch this fence and make sure that them cows are not our cow. Or that the cows, their cows won't get through our fence. Enjoy driving the tractor. 
stuff. That's pretty much all I did since I was a kid. So uh, I did a lot of carpentry work with Papa, but when I wasn't working with Papa, I was doing carpentry work or doing farm work. My bad. And so now every time I get the chance, I try to. Again, I appreciate you guys uh, subscribing to the channel. If y'all want to see anything, uh, anything done, if y'all want me to try to show y'all anything, uh, how to do something that I know how to do. If I don't know how to do it, I'll tell you straight up. I, I ain't got no idea. Uh, if you would like to see anything, learn anything, Feel free to uh, comment because uh, I'm not shy, and I'll I will tell you guys how to show you guys if I can how to do something if y'all don't know or if you want to learn a different way or if y'all want to teach me how to do something, just comment. Uh, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Because uh, we do all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, I think it's fun because it's farming. But um, we do all sorts of cool stuff. Um, I think everything's just peaceful today. So y'all have a blessed Wednesday. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you next time.